We are now at the Stalmoen uh, airport outside the Elverum and uh, here we have uh, two people. Uh, I'm going to talk about the electric plane. So, sorry for the background noise. We have there's some stuff going on here. After all, we are at, <laughs> at the airport. Uh, but um, anyway, so uh, so you know uh, what is your position? Uh, um, I'm a pilot of this plane. Okay. Um, we yeah. just uh, started flying it uh, like um, a week ago. Okay. And uh, first official flight was um, two days ago what? at uh, the main airport in Oslo Garden. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's my role in in this project. So you know what? Uh, I'm going to. Uh, I will ride with this plane today. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, I never ever flown tiny planes like this, only like big airliners. I'm pretty pumped up now. You must be excited now. <laughs> Whoa, yes. <laughs> uh, and, and you are like a technical guy. I'm a technic technician okay. on this aircraft and have uh, got uh, some uh, education at the uh, factory okay. in well, Slovenia. Yeah, so this, this plane comes from Slovenia. Huh? Yes, Slovenia. It's uh, what's it called? Pim Pimstrel. 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 Yes. Okay. Pimstrel. Yes. Uh, so, um, is this like the first uh, electric plane you guys uh, have tried? Or? Um, at least for my part, it is. Yes, it's absolutely the first one, and um, actually, it's one of the first electric planes. Okay. Um, uh, in the in the world, uh, wow. and the only one that you can actually buy yourself. Uh, wow. And go ahead flying. So the rest of them are on the drawing board and um, in text uh, regime or something. Cool. So, okay, so, so I have you know, there are lots of stuff I want to know about this aircraft. Like, how much does it cost versus like gasoline? Uh, more or less the same, I'd say. Yes, no? more or less the okay. same. Yeah. Uh, the cost for this aircraft is approximately uh, is fully stocked with uh, instruments okay. mm -hmm. and uh, costs about uh, 1.7 million Norwegian okay. crowns. No, okay, 1.7. Uh, yes. And similar uh, like sized uh, gasoline? Uh, yeah, uh, approximately the same. Uh, the same? same. Yes. same yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so now you actually have a choice. You can choose a petrol engine with this plane. Yeah. Exactly the same plane. Oh. Uh, called it Pipistel Virus. Yes. And you can buy, or you can buy with the batteries, uh, the Pipistrel Alpha Electro okay. K2. So, so yeah, what kind one. of what kind of batteries in in this? How much capacity does it have? Um, leave that to yes. Uh, the maybe? capacity it's uh, actually two batteries, okay. one in the front and one aft of the the pilot seats. Okay. Uh, it's uh, ten point five kilowatt. Kilowatt hours each. Yes, oh. each batteries. So they are paired. Yes, oh, they okay. are paired. All right. So uh, you must use uh, the same batteries at the same time. Okay. Yes. And uh, it's uh, yeah, 10.5 and the, the engine is uh, 60 kilowatt. 60 kilowatt engine? Yes. So that, that's, that's 80 horsepower. Uh, yes, 80 horsepower. 80, 80 horsepower. <laughs> wow. So, and what about the, the gasoline version? How much power does that have? It's uh, 80 hor horsepower. Um, 80 or 100. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, deliver, so, yeah. so, so it means that the, the electric one can match at least in power. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. But what about uh, what about running cost? Then? That is the <laughs> yes. big question. Right? Oh, yes. yes. So how much does it cost to like fly this? Uh, for maintenance, mm -hmm. uh, is uh, a, a little bit less than the petrol version. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the the engine yeah. can you can use it two thousand hours. Okay. Uh, and then you have to to uh, replace a bearing. Okay. That's all. The bearing costs approximately one thousand Norwegian crowns. Well, that's it. That's it. Mm. And what about gasoline engine? Uh, but then. Gasoline engine, you must replace uh, ignition plugs and oil filters and okay. all that stuff every 100 hour. Wow, uh, huh? already? Yes. Mm. That's way more maintenance than gasoline cars. Yes, 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 mm. way more. Okay. Mm. All right, so maintenance cost is, is much lower. Yes. Much, much lower on that. Yes. What about uh, electricity versus fuel? You get fuel. Yeah, it, it's a gasoline uh, here in Norway. It uh, costs about uh, 15 Norwegian crowns okay. a liter. Yeah, it's like one euro seventy-five, yeah. one yeah. eighty. But you, you need to use a special fuel. Or? 
Uh, we do. Yeah, uh, it's okay. aviation gasoline. Oh, okay. gas. Uh, is that or you can be use unleaded gas on those engines. Okay, and they're slightly more expensive. Uh, um, more or less the same as yeah. petrol okay. cars. Hmm. Mm. And, and how much, like, how much does it cost to fly it? Uh, in this one versus gasoline. Um, the petrol engine version um, uses uh, like 16 liters an hour on cruise. 16 liters per so hour. Very, yes. Mm. Okay. Um, All right. So that's very economical for a small plane. Okay. Um, this one, I would say, um, for one hour you can use use electricity for like three euros, maybe. Yes. Approximately. So much less. So, so it's like a tenth yeah. of the price or something. More yes. or less. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, but the, th the big question is, how long can you fly with it? How what's the range of this? Uh, this is like um, the flying version to, to the earliest electrical cars. Okay. So this is a version one zero yes. uh, when it comes to electrical planes. Mm -hmm. uh, so which means the range is uh, fairly limited so far. Okay. Um, you can fly effectively one hour okay. uh, plus reserves. Oh, okay. You also have you have the same um, um, requirements as come to uh, reserves. Oh, um, okay. Battery. Uh, powered and uh, airplanes, as we do on petrol, uh, mentioned once. Okay. So um, you always must keep uh, energy left to go to an alternate uh, airport oh, if oh. something happens at mm. that airport or something. Uh, how much is a reserve then? Uh, up to 20 30 minutes. Um, oh, okay. Mm. But you're not, you, you I mean, normally you don't count on that reserve, right? No. no. So, oh, okay. in, for all practical reasons, yes. we, this one is uh, usable for up to one hour. Oh, okay, one hour. And uh, yeah. the main purpose for this plane is to train new pilots in a, in a pattern work, so uh, landing patterns, yes. train on takeoff and landing. Hmm. That's uh, the main uh, reason for making such planes. Hmm. Uh, that said, um, we all know that battery technology is uh, really um, a lot of uh, research is going on on the battery side. Yeah. Uh, so um, hopefully, in a few years' time, the, um, the endurance can be doubled or yeah, yeah. three doubles mm. or something. So. Yes, I've seen that in electric cars. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. So but that's what we hope to see the same development there, of course. Yeah. Well, I saw that the charger, I mean, there's no onboard charger here. It's fairly big no. and heavy. Yeah, yes. it so, is. So you um, cannot like, plug it in at the household socket, unfortunately. Uh, you oh. can, but it will take you all night to recharge it. Oh, but what? So you have an onboard charger? Or? Not onboard, but okay. you, ha you may have a, a small charger at... Um, uh -huh. 220 volts. Yeah, ah. yeah yes. that you can plug in the, in the wall, you know, regular uh, sockets. Okay. And charge it, but, but it's much faster one with um, the heavier one. Yeah. yeah, but that means like, uh, let's say if you want to travel from from here to Bergen, mm. flat, you need you can't bring the charger with you; it's too heavy. Yes. yes. So you have to have that charger. So we need a charger at that place also, oh. or a car you know, towing mm. it. Or uh, as for now, it's impossible to fly from Oslo to Bergen oh. over the mountains. Mm. Um, it doesn't have the range. Uh, so we, we can take on this plane. We can take the wings off, oh. put it in a hangar. Uh, oh, sorry, in a, in a trailer. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and drive it over. Oh, okay. Reassemble it there. So. Uh, what's the weight of this? Uh? Empty weight is 382.5 kilos. Wow. That's, that's nothing. Uh, <laughs> that's nothing. <laughs> and uh, maximum takeoff weight is 560 kilos. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so, um, but uh, I, it seems like you can take off the whole ba the, the battery packs can be like swapped. Right? Absolutely. Yes. Um, see this door? Yeah. Uh, we can. And there's a similar one on the other side. Yeah. You can open it and take the batteries out, put a new uh, set in, and fly immediately after landing. So, so technically, I mean, if you're like, um, if you have a busy day with uh, teaching, mm -hmm. right? If, uh, you can just keep keep it going, right? You Absolutely. can charge yes. one set on the ground yep. and have another one. And mm -hmm. well, one hour of driving, mm -hmm. and it takes what one hour of. Yes, uh, one hour, one hour, to uh, one hour flying. Yeah, yeah, sorry. One hour flying and one hour uh, recharging. Yeah. yeah, so you can just keep it going. Yes. Then. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's possible. Yeah, it's possible. Wow. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, what other other benefits are there with flying this electric plane? Like, like comfort wise or noise or like, how is it? Yes, it's uh, uh, first it's cheaper. Okay. Uh, it's uh, uh, less noise. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the the engine, the, the the electric engine, yeah. 
is uh, almost instant when oh. you you throttle up. Yeah, I know all yes, that it's, one. It, it, it's <laughs> it's like a car, electrical car. Okay, so mm. yeah. so the gasoline has some lag or yes, it's a lag. Do, yeah. Does that perf like does that affect you know how how you can maneuver the airplane? Com is this like more maneuverable? Or? Not really. Yeah, it's it's okay. more or less the same as petrol engine. Ah, okay. The ones. Uh, it's just that the the power is there immediately, as you know all know. Mm. Um, uh, what about the and, and the one uh, yeah. major thing in addition to that is there's no pollution oh, yes, coming of out course. of the course. So uh, yeah. mm. so no fossil fuels involved, yeah. <laughs> which is good for us. Yeah, but I heard about this one can also regenerate the propeller. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, How does that work then? Yeah. If you fly and um, coming in for landing and you, you can idle the, and, the um, throttle. Yeah. And um, we will put some charge into the battery again. Wow! Uh, the propeller is windmilling. <laughs> wow! So that's good. Yeah. So okay. More or less the same as braking a Tesla, I would say. Oh, yeah. but I mean, if it was like really windy on the ground, could you have the propeller just going like a tor wind turbine and charge it? That yeah. could be a good idea. Um, <laughs> I, I, w I was at the factory down in Slovenia. Yeah. And it, they had a local wind coming down yeah. on the mountains, and looking at the planes of, uh, on the tarmac, all the propellers uh, yeah. were spinning around. Nice. So we were actually asking that question, why don't we use that energy? Yeah. <laughs> um, they, and, but it looked a bit dangerous too, yes, uh, if okay. some people walking around with, oh. and the planes and the propellers uh, start mm -hmm. okay. winning. So I have a nice picture of it on my phone. Uh, oh. I asked how did they stop the propellers from windmilling. Okay. No, no worries. So they are just a piece of tape. Okay. Stopping it. <laughs> but technically, very easily. Yeah. Okay, so technically, it's possible. It yeah. is possible. That's yes. pretty cool. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, if the wind is blowing. You can uh, guess you could recharge the battery. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, but, but also, okay. Uh, one last question is about, about safety, because mm -hmm. many people you know, they're, con they're concerned about safety. But what happens if you get like uh, like a more problem with a with the airplane, aircraft, you know, if it stops. Or, yeah. yeah. Uh, exactly the same as petrol uh, engine ones. Okay. Um, a plane doesn't fall straight down. Uh, we've got wings. Okay. And this particular plane uh, is coming from a, a glider factory also. So okay. um, I would say the structure and the uh, wing wings here are very much similar to a glider plane. Okay. So if you're losing power, okay. you can easily glide in and land on uh, any reasonably flat surface. Oh, um, all right. So um, it's not that the uh, plane goes straight mm. down now. Okay. And, uh, and it has, it, by that it has the same security levels as a petrol engine on that. So. And what about like parachute or whatever? It does have a parachute. Um, okay. You can pull a handle um, uh -huh. and the small rocket will fire a, a parachute. A rocket? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. So, yeah? uh, that's pretty cool, yeah. Oh. All right, so then... And it will take you down. So if you are inadvertently flying into a, um, a cloud, because this plane is uh, visual flying strictly. Oh, okay. You need to fly outside the clouds. Oh. But uh, if you happen to be in a bad weather or um, you are incapacitated in some way okay. um, and something happens, you can pull the chute and it, that, that will take you down uh, in the field and you can walk away from it. So I mean, so I mean, basically what you're saying is that this plane is as safe as a petrol plane. Um, I would say so. Yeah, I mean, otherwise it wouldn't pass the regulations. No, yeah. no. Uh, yes. Wow. Hmm. Um, and it has the same requirements for redundancy uh, as a normal plane. Uh, you have to keep so much energy to fly, as I said, to another airport. Or, mm -hmm. um, in case you arrive at an airport and it's closed for some reason or something. Hmm. Hmm. Well, okay, uh, uh, that's pretty cool. Good. Um, thank you so much for the information. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. I'm looking forward to flying this thing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not <laughs> flying it, but just riding with you. Yeah. yeah. So yes. <laughs> big fun. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.